Everyone, welcome back to Detention. This is where we left off. This is where I saved the game. And the uh, last thing we did, we got a key from this thing that tests your eyes. I'm at a loss for the English word for it. We also have food to distract the zombies, the lingered. We have this dice, which I'm not sure how to use it. And we were about to go inside the adjacent room. So let's do that. The door is locked from the other side. Okay. So there's another door outside here. Oh shit, we're not safe here anymore? How did she get here? Okay. Do we distract her with the food we have? I think we must because she must be um what's happening oh she was okay i was suffocating myself she's in the way we probably need to get there with this key so let's see what we can do with the food how do we uh do we just put it over here oh shit! did i waste it Oh shit, we wasted it. Um, well, let's uh, go ahead anyway. Can you actually come to us? And then I'll... She doesn't hear me. We probably just should have... Uh, Walk to the right side when we put the food down here. Can we even get her attention? Okay. We have to lure her away. I could simply reload the game, but let's not. Let's find more food. But yeah, there's only so much food in the game, probably. Anyway, what the hell did we need to do? We needed to go to... The third floor. Yeah, we opened this one with the, the pliers. There's a, a zombie to the right. So we need to go one floor higher than we are now. The third floor. I don't think we've ever been to the third floor. So this is new. Blood on the walls, blood stains. Oh, more people. That, oh shit. Oh no 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 no. All right. Don't mess with the dead. We really should hold our breath. I just wanted to peek inside the window. Let's head inside. We can, so... We seem to be safe here. What is this? Only a single desk and chair sitting in the middle of the class. It evokes a sense of solitude. Huh? There are some engraved marks on the table. They seem to be words and symbols, but they're too faint to read right now. Um, can we... How do we do this? Let's just try use random items. It doesn't do anything. What about this thing? No, maybe we can scratch it with a key. No, so we don't have the proper item to make it visible. That's it, that's all there is in this room. Can we walk a little bit closer? Let's look inside the window again. A dead silence in the classroom. They probably all got home, that's the thing she said before. 
I don't remember these steel bars being here. I guess I'll have to find a way to the other side. No, we can't get past it. How do we get to the other side? Probably by using this uh, medical supply key. Which is going to be a problem because of the lingered person over there. Or, oh wait, we can probably go to the back end of the second floor and get to the third floor from the other side. We have to get past this lingered person though, which we can by going through the class. Very creepy. What is this again? Have we been here before? Oh, these are the toilets. Yeah, we don't have to be here. Oh shit, it's debris. Maybe from the first floor then. Maybe that's a thing. I don't even... We can get past them without distracting them. Even with holding our breath. She is going to be a problem in there. Okay, all the way back to floor one. This floor remains safe, I think. This door is locked, right? Because of the talisman? Maybe can we use this this key? This doesn't do anything. No. Oh shit, it's yeah. I forgot about this. It's with a lock pad. We don't have any clue what to do here, do we? We still have this one. Turn the wheel with the laws of the universe. Turn the wheel. She doesn't even know how to read the symbols. There seems only one way to go, and that is uh, trying to get past that zombie where we saved our game the last time. And if we can, we might have to reload anyway to actually make the food work. Would kind of be a, a game breaker if that was. Is that the only option for us to proceed? But we'll see. She's definitely still there. Can we get past her? No, no, definitely not. Holding our breath doesn't work when doing that. Oh, there's no more food, so we probably wasted it and there's more. The game thought about it. So, I think we just put the food over here and they can, we can probably walk past her. I think that's how it works. Let's try that. Yeah, it works like that. Storage room for medical supplies. It's locked. The nurse should have the key. We have the key. The door is unlocked, so it's pretty linear after all. We have to solve this one before we get get to another room. Ooh, this looks like an escape room or something. 
emergency showers and I was I wash station something's in the water bowl another die two dice two dice belonging to the same set has someone been here the floor is wet with blood another door that probably leads back into the safe station a sharp smell coming from the metal box this is paint thinner paint thinner that's probably what we can use on the table at the third floor in the classroom solvent used to clean up paint a sharp smell emanates from it only a few miscellaneous items unlocking the door I can get in now well since we're here let's uh, pick up uh, more food Guess we can get food every time we want here and save our game while well, we can now going back to the third floor she's back on to lingering around that's what they do So we need the food to get past those creatures. Uh, it wasn't here, right? I think it was. Yeah. This doesn't really, it doesn't do anything. Clean up paint. Where can we use that? They're too faint. I'm just trying to think where we can use paint thinner then. Clean up paint. Do we need to go back to the auditorium? That would be kind of weird. But probably, yeah, because I don't know how to use it differently. What if we use it like this? No, it doesn't work. So we have to look for something else. We can do nothing on the right. Do we use it on the lock? It wouldn't make sense. Okay, you know what? Let's head back to the auditorium. What was in here again? Oh, wait a second. What about this? This doesn't do anything. Clean up paint. There's company here now? Whoa, they just... Okay, stay there. Not. Don't turn around. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Nasty. Okay, we probably have to use the food because I don't know where to use those other items. I hope this is the right move because I'm definitely not sure anymore. Oh wait, do we use it here? Is that why the 
new zombie was placed over here. They should be able to remove the talisman drawing. Yeah. Alright. We really have to memorize where we need to solve puzzles. So we can get in now. So this is where a certain Mr. Cow lives. A country map. We have to memorize each province's name for geography class. Funny thing is, I'm not even familiar with our own little town. What's the point of knowing about places that are so distant? Yeah, I guess you have a point, especially in the 60s. Why is there a knife stabbed in the table? Despite the rust, it still looks sharp. Utility knife. The table's a mess. Someone stabbed it repeatedly with a knife. Did Mr. Cow do this? It's like a... Heavily rusted blade. What can we do with the blade? We can probably use this to identify the... Um, the writing on the desk, maybe. What else do we have? Free calendar handed out by the township office. Every household has one. Poster of a famous celebrity. And another door. Which is open. Oh, looks not creepy at all. The room smells like old alcohol and smoke. I'm suffocating. Noodles? A chipped white ceramic bowl. Can't lift it up. Someone, it's somehow it's stick to the table. There are scratching marks inside the bowl. Guess the rumor of people gambling in school was not a rumor after all. Uh, let's use some stuff. No, maybe the dice. Should I throw the dice? But I've seen people doing it. I think it requires three dice to play. <laughs> okay, so we need another dice. A bucket, a water bucket, something's in here. Another die? Yeah, three dice. Dark stains at the bottom of the bucket. That smell and the swarming bugs. Better stop looking at it or I might throw up. Yeah. Three dice, sick bow, a game of chance that requires the gamblers to use three dice to play. Let's do it. I have three dice now, toss the dice. Tooth? Teeth? What the? Six, two and three. Whoa, what's this? Teeth? I thought I was holding dice. These numbers, no way. I'm pretty sure those were dice when I threw them. Dice? Teeth? What happened? After throwing the dice into the ball, they turn into teeth. Are the numbers supposed to mean something? 623. Yeah, probably for the, uh, the door. The lock. I think. What's that sound? The ball came loose. Ceramic ball. It's a little bit like Resident Evil as well. Oh, we got the whole ball? A ball found in Mr. Cow's room, used for gambling. What do we use it for? Can we combine items? Probably not. I'm trying to think where we can use it. So we, we might have a code for the padlock and we might have this knife for the table. Those are the only puzzles I can think of right now. We do have to get past the aliens again, or aliens, <laughs> zombies. And uh, that's going to be a problem with the first one. Whoa, there's a note? Who put the note there? Was it there already? It might have. A note on a bench. Illustration cutting throat. Found in Mr. Cow's room. The prophecy is revealed when a sacrifice is made with the blood of the innocent. Oh, that's what the bowl is for. The blood of the innocent. We might need blood from... Um, this is really disturbing. From Wei, who is hanging in the auditorium. Maybe? Oh, there's a padlock. We might as well try. 
strange combination lock it can be open unless i know how to read this weird okay so how do we know how to read it this is a clue this is a clue 623 don't know any other code lock but we still cannot work with this thing the lingered person is here so the only thing we can do right now is going in here no, not in here can we onboard it with a knife maybe probably not but we have to try you never know in, in games like these so we'll go back here oh man they, they creep me out freaky as hell this is new right the markings I hope I can wake up from this nightmare no it's not new uh, we have to go back to the body way do we need to cut him open or oh, we do don't we what is this oh come on that's sick I think I'm supposed to collect the blood <laughs> she doesn't have any problem with this the blood's draining into the bowl. Bowl of blood. Oh shit. <laughs> Why did he open his eyes? Oh, that was freaky. A bowl of blood drained out of Way's remains. So the knife is gone. Did we put the pendant in here? No. Anything else? I'm so sorry. I don't know what else to do. No, I can't take another look. Where do we use the offering? Outside? Maybe to the shrine? Eh, that might be. Anything change here? Probably not. We have to go past this zombie again though. Okay, she has some food right there. So let's let her eat. Enjoy our meal. Okay, go. 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 Phew. All right. Um May the earth god do we This doesn't do anything. So we've come back here for nothing. I guess we did. <laughs> Alright. Then we have to get past her again. She can only hold her breath for so long, but we have to go past her. The last few meters we can probably run. Go! Alright, we survived, but we probably have to go back. Way is not freaking at all. Ugh. Why do we use it? I'm trying to think. Maybe we use that on the table? Okay, this is not good. The other woman is still there. We don't have any food. What's this again? Can we use an item? No. Can we use the blood offering? No. Challenging getting past this woman. Oh shit, she's right under our nose. Maybe if she turns around. Okay, she does turn around. Then she runs back. No shit, didn't want to do that. Let's 
Let's see how far she actually goes. Okay, she turns back right away. How are we supposed to get past her? We can sneak past her like this as well. I did not know that. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. Um, not sure what we're supposed to do here. We can save here, that's among other things. There's still this cabinet. Probably we can do nothing with it. Savoring our game. I guess we'll go to the uh, the third floor and try to get the code from that classroom. I think it was the third floor. Bypassing her. Okay, it's it should be here. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, this works. The blood sank into the marks. What can I use to print out the engravings? Wait, what? I don't know this. Making a print with a notebook. It worked. Blood print. Printed from the classroom desk. Written the symbols and numbers from I Ching or the Book of Changes. Ancient Chinese divination text, microcosm of the universe, and the symbolic description of the processes of change. Okay, so now we know the code. Together with this one, like 623, she should make it out. Right? 623. Should definitely try it out. So we probably have to go back down again. A little bit running back and forth, but that's how the game works. We do have to get past the zombie again though, which bothers me. It's probably a good thing to save our game again while we're here. So if we die, we don't have to play over a lot. Just casually walking by. Oh, this is not good. Why should do this? All right, like this. Oh, holy shit. All right, going back to the right now. Let's see if she unlocks it this time. And then we can go to the other side of the second and third floor. Do we use them ourselves? Yeah, we do. So we have to look for it. 623. Okay, 6 looks like that. I'm just going to memorize it. This was 6, I think. 2 is alright. Was this 2? No, just the, the 2 on top. This is 2. 3 is in the middle two stripes yes click sound from the lock we did it now we can proceed which is always good a dark place ahead we can go further up but we do want to look the rest of this place okay this is the rubble so yeah the only way to go is up 